Well, hello there folks and welcome to the BRO Reloading Bench. I'm going to try to get through this intro again before the birds start screaming again. So anyway, um, I get asked tons of questions about a variety of different uh, things when it comes to big game ammo. Ball big game ammo or buckshot. So, a lot of folks say, Wade, I cannot drop $100 on a mold. I just can't do it. Do we have alternatives? I have racked my brain. We do have alternatives, but it's a matter of finding them. Sometimes you can find them. A lot of times you can't. But the best alternative is the, uh, is the do it slingshot mold. Yeah, do it are the folks that make all your fishing lead molds and all that stuff. So, let's dive into it. The do it slingshot mold that I'm talking about today, folks, is uh, let me see, it's the model BB 20 M2. BB 20 M2, it makes a 1 16th and a 1 it makes a 1 10th and a 1 16th ounce pellet. In, layman's terms the small row of pellets is 29 caliber is what it measures out for me the bigger pellet is a 37 caliber is what it measures out for me both outstanding sizes when it comes to big game hunting rounds now the bigger question is all right we get this part of it done then how does it perform so well, what we're going to do is i'm going to put together some of these do it slingshot mold pellets and then we're going to use the same size i've got a 29 caliber from uh, marty's arms and a where to put it okay and a 37 caliber from marty's arms and we're going to put them side by side step off at 50 yards down at the range and we're going to see how they performed treated untreated do it mold pellets and as compared directly to Marty's arms, perfectly round spheres here. All right, I think everything's warmed up enough. Let's mold up some of this slingshot stuff. open Let's see what we got here uh, yeah. looks like we got a full pour on the first time now these are some rough pellets they are spheres the mold is cast it is not machined like Marty's are the mold is cast so you got kind of a rough texture on that can that be a factor? Well, yes, it can. Let's get these out of here. That's 37 cal. I'm worth dropping them. It is wheel weight alloy. All right, let's keep moving. I was not talking to you. Right. 
first two pours, full pour, I would expect nothing else from here on out, getting nothing but full pours. <laughs> There's big old sprue channels in this mold. That's why the pellets are a little rough. wheel weight alloy and my uh, my wheel weight contacts here in the Midlands of South Carolina unfortunately with the times being like they are that my contacts are drying up folks I have always had plenty of contacts to get my wheel weights that is not the world we living in right now another full pour Probably would not have to pull them out with the pliers. And we didn't. It fell right out. Folks, something I've been trying out last several times. This is the DuPont. DuPont non-stick. For uh, treating surfaces. It is a, uh, this is a ceramic based. The reason being is the uh, the CRC the CRC is fifteen to twenty dollars a blame can now. It is skyrocketed. It used to be nine dollars a can, uh, you know, a few years ago when I started using it. Now it's fifteen to twenty. This was eleven dollars and change with uh, with free shipping off of Amazon. And there's 14 ounces in here and 11 ounces in here. So I figured at that price, it was dang worth it to find out how well it would work. And I am extremely happy with how it works, folks. It, it works like a dream. Everything that I'm molding with now has been treated with it. And no, DuPont is not a sponsor. I wish they were. Captain Buster retired from DuPont after almost 40 years. All righty. It's another full pull. Like I said, I wouldn't expect anything else now. It's going to be a full pour every time. And we try to get with it so we can get this done. <laughs> now I got roosters over there fighting. What else is new, right? Uh. It's springtime and love is in the air. Ba -na -ba -ba -na -ba. Love is in the air. <laughs> I hope you guys are finding the crappy, the brim, the catfish, and the turkeys. That's what's going on this time of year. I think turkey season opened up here this weekend, yesterday. I think it may have opened up yesterday. We've been uh, we've been doing looking for some. We ain't found none yet. We don't have any. Um, I've seen two hens on the uh, on the lease. Other than that, I haven't seen anything else. That's not really unusual. Not really unusual. I have loaded these up many times in the past. 
I was, uh, I've been thinking about doing a side-by-side -side video. These are the roughest, <laughs> these are the roughest pellets that, uh, that I make. This mold right here makes rough, rough pellets. I'm textured like a, uh, soccer ball. Yeah. Textured kind of like a soccer ball or a football is textured. But what will amaze you, uh, what I'm going to show you, is that uh, after we cut these off the sprue, and you look at how rough these things look, and then after an 8 to 12 hour trip in the, uh, in the rock tumbler, you wouldn't recognize them. Come on. Thank you. So I'm going to get after it and make up a bunch of these and then we're going to make up uh, make up some 37 and 29 cal using Marty's molds. Y'all stand by. It's like do the uh, do these birds back here have any special names? Yeah, they do. Chicken nugget, chicken soup. Chicken sandwich. A little bit too tough for fried chicken. Chicken stock. Outstanding. <laughs> Old rough mean roosters make outstanding chicken stock. Alrighty. Let's start out with the bigger ones. 37 caliber. Fellas at the club have fallen in love with his 37 caliber quad. Took took a lot of big game animals here the last three years, especially. Let's see what we got. These great big old pellets. Yep, the alloy is really, really hot. We got a full pour first time. It don't take long to heat up a mold when you're filling it up with quads. <laughs> one fell out. Yeah, it's, well, one. One pellet. I see my hand is in the right. One pellet, I think, didn't fill up. The rest of them are trying to fall out. Hold of this one that didn't. There. Got a full pour that time. I got the pretty well got the riverboat ready to go. Got a pick me up a um Fixer upper, 25 horsepower, Mercury, last year, and she is running like a dream, always a plus. Another full pour.
fill this one up and then just like the last I'm gonna have to I'm gonna make up as many of this uh, many of these as I can don't have to bring y'all along for the whole thing folks I think some of y'all would enjoy it I've got to be careful what I say and how I say it in this venue Things getting into the minutiae of details will be over on Patreon. Hmm. Wouldn't be but a couple more pours. Yeah, she be getting a little bit hot. So I did an extra one. We'll go ahead and put these in the uh, in the water bath down there. And then we'll make up some 29 caliber to match up with the 29 cal that came out of uh, the, uh, the do it mold. All righty. So now we're going to. Hold up some perfect 29 caliber here. Goes a lot faster. Uh, I still, haven't, still haven't taken care of the drips yet. All but one, all but one, and the, the one that didn't fail almost completely filled up. Once again, all but one. Cold mold. I didn't heat this mold up. Rarely do I. Rarely do I unless it's really cold out here. All but one. There we go. Uh, nope. <laughs> they said, well, there's our first full pour, all but one, once again. All but one. Nope. All but two. Two didn't fill. Up. <laughs> Every session out here is like a box of chocolates. Like Forrest said. You never know what you're gonna get. Most of the time, wow. Most of the time it works like a dream. Sometimes it'd be a pain in the butt. There's our, making dang sure, there's our first full, full pull. 
I don't know, three, four pours in. didn't feel that time if I got 90 to 95 percent every time I'm I'm happy I'm not upset that is the nature of the beast so many factors can play in what the temperature of your alloy is hovering around. I keep it set on, on nine, eight, nine. That's what I keep my leaf pot set on. How your mold behaves. Every mold can have a different personality. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. One didn't completely fill. They mostly, about 90% filled, 95% filled, but not quite. You could probably cut it off, tumble it, polish it, and it would be, be okay, but I'll throw those away. No, I don't throw them away. They go back in the sprue bucket to go right back in, to recycle back into the pot. Not only does it feel like spring here in the Midlands, it looks like spring, folks. It has been one gorgeous early spring. Full pour that time. I'll bring y'all along for one more to 29, and we're gonna. I'm gonna break them down into individual videos, and then I'll just link cards at the end or links down in the description to part two, three, however many, how far we have to go with this. But I think this ought to be fun. I'm right interested to see what's gonna happen myself. You guys find out along with me. I do very little rehearsing or no rehearsing at all. Y'all see it as it happens. Okay, we got another full pour. See if Cam 2 can see it. We got another full pour. And I'm just going to make up enough to where we can uh, put together several rounds to go down there, hang up some paper at 50 yards and uh, and see how these things perform we're gonna try we're gonna we're gonna use same components exact same only thing that's gonna vary is gonna be the ball that goes in these big game rounds for science purposes I love science I hope y'all love science too because we're gonna get as scientific as this whole country boy can get. It ought to be entertaining, if nothing else. Speaking of entertainment, or the lack thereof, With that beautiful ASMR that'll put you to sleep, just like that. With the sounds of the barnyard or the B.R.O. Ponderosa, as it were. We'll see y'all on the next one, folks. Bye-bye.